By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim? Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today I am playing against one of my patrons. I'm playing against Roman from Germany. And he is bringing a blue and green aggro deck to the table. And I am playing with a brand new revised only deck, an elemental deck. It's red and it's blue. So before we go to the games, I'm quickly going to discuss both of these decks. If you want to go to the action, no worries. Check the timestamp in the description below and that will take you straight to game number one. The first deck that I would like to talk about is the deck of my opponent today, Roman, and he's playing with uh, blue-green, and obviously it's going to be pretty much an aggro build, and I've just put some cards here to give you an idea what the deck is all about. So there will be a lot of one drops. I'm expecting script sprites, maybe also flying man, uh, Lanowar else, of course, to ramp. And then the ideal situation will be if he has an early and stable mutation, just get in through the air with a 4-4 flyer, or just get an Urnum Jin at turn two or turn three. Then, of course, he's playing with some Psy Blasts to kind of finish off the job. So this could, this, these games could go really, really fast once this deck is really rolling. And don't forget that he also has access to Pendlehaven. Of course, that's a land from Legends. Tap to give target 1-1 one, one, plus 1 plus 2. So then you're making a 1-1 one, one into a 2-3 creature, which is pretty strong as well. So the, the, the tactic of this deck is, is pretty one-dimensional. Get your threats out, start hitting and I guess finish with Psyblast or just finish with the creatures that you have. Okay, let's take a look at my Elemental Brew. And here is my deck and I'm just, I'm loving this deck, man. I'm loving this deck. It's called uh, Your Elemental, You Are Deck, you know, blue and red. And what I wanted to do with this deck, I just wanted to feel like, okay, I'm a powerful wizard and I control all the elements. I control the air, I control the water, I control the earth, I control the control fire if i control all of that how could i lose i'm such a powerful wizard and obviously you see those four mana volts they are the key to my victory what i want to do is turn one slam down a mana volt turn two play one of these huge elemental creatures summon them and smash my opponent to pieces and if he has an answer possibly protect it uh, by my counter spells, protect my elementals by countering my opponent, be, being a smart and cunning wizard. And you know what? If he kills my elementals, I mean, that's not the way I want, I want it to, to go, but then I'll just have to use my direct damage. I'm playing with a disintegrate and a fireball, and of course with four lightning bolts to finish the job. I think that in the meta that we play old school, artifact removal is so important because of those factories. So that's why I've also boarded in four shatters so I can take care of artifact threats. And of course, two stone rains. If if I come across Aloha, and with that, I mean Library of Alexandria, I've got a stone rain any, any day of the week. You know, I'm just gonna boom, take care of the library, but I don't think I'm gonna see a library in this match, by the way. Okay, so this is my elemental deck. Let's go to the games. Game number one, and uh, I am sitting on the left, of course, with the Timmy Playmat, my opponent here, starting early with a Scrib Sprite's turn one. And uh, as you may notice, uh, the setup is a little bit different. I'm upside down, and Roman is the right way. And let me know in the comments below if you like this setup, because in a way it makes sense, because you're playing against each other, you know what I mean? Then you're sitting opposite to one another. Um, let me know, let me know what you think, or is it just making you dizzy? I'm curious to hear about your uh, your feedback. In the meanwhile, look at the start of Roman. This is exactly what I don't want to see. Um, there is that turn to Sylvan Library. Apparently, I have no counter spell, or else I would have countered him. And there's that unstable, making matters even worse. Going down to 15 here, another script sprites. And in all honesty, I need to find a mana vault here. Maybe play out an air elemental. Maybe that could kind of get me back in here. There is the mana vault. Can I find a flyer? to block those sprites and I cannot, I'm just passing turn. That is not great. Hopefully at least I have a counter spell then. Playing another trop, attacking me here for four, going to 11 and there's an Urnum Jin. No counter spell from me. Ay, 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 ay. I'm just pulling blanks here it seems, playing a water elemental. At least that's something I can block it on the Urnum and we can trade because remember the water elemental is a 5-4. Let's see what Roman is going to do. Of course he, he has that Sylvan so maybe he can find something. That button is to show that he's got um, 
Force Walk. Oh no, taken over. And uh, he wants to attack with the Water Elemental, but when it comes into control of a new player, it's got Summoning Sickness again. So unfortunately for Roman, that's not possible, but I think it won't matter a lot. It just gives me one single turn, but I don't think that's gonna change anything here. I'm, I'm on four life, getting a damage from the Mana Vault as well. Going to three here, and this these are the short games that I talked about in my introduction. These games can just go really, really fast. I mean, it feels like we just started. I'm already on three, and I'm showing my hand. There's a Shatter in there. That's not really going to help me against this deck. Um, and now I'm actually in a slight advantage, because I, I told uh, Roman I'm going to sideboard. He told me he, he doesn't have a sideboard. And of course, I'm going to board in my red Elemental Blasts to kind of help me from those Control Magics. So um, that's what I'm going to do right now. Hopefully, I can uh, we can see more of a of a of a game in game number two, and maybe we can even get to a game number three. Uh, but first, let's let these players sideboard, and then we'll get back to this matchup in game number two. Game number two, and uh, that's a victory by Roman. I hope he's going to have a little bit more of a relaxed start, or at least that I can find a counter spell. Um, to kind of slow him down a little bit. Uh, let's see what my first turn is going to look like here. Playing a Volcanic Island passing turn. And Roman playing a Tropical Island. Nice to see these beautiful dual lands. Both revised, I believe. Playing an island here for myself. Basic island. So I have to counter capability online. He's not playing out anything. Playing a basic mountain passing turn again. There's a Pendle Haven, and this is a completely different game if we compare this to game one. It's, goes, it's going much slower, and I think that's going to be in my advantage. Let's see, mana drop number four. We will see an Urnum. There is an If Biff of Freed. That's nice. If Biff of Freed, a 3 3 flyer from Arabian Nights with a built in hurricane effect. But there was my counter spell to stop that, and there's an Earth Elemental. There's my big fatty. Let's hope we're not going to see another control magic as we saw in game one. Of course, I've boarded in red, ele red Elemental Blasts, so they can kind of protect me from Control Magics. Control Magic obviously being a huge problem because it's an enchantment, and when you're playing with blue and with red, there's not much you can do once the enchantment is in play. And we see a regrowth. He cannot play it out yet, doesn't have enough mana, but played his regrowth over his if -biff. And there's my attack here, dealing four damage. Earth Elemental is a four five vanilla creature for five. And what are we going to see now? And there's land number five. There's an If Biff Afrit. The 3-3 three, three flyer we saw earlier attacking. Again, he's going to 12 here. And playing a Fire Elemental. That's the 5-4 Vanilla Creature. So I've got a 4-5 Earth Elemental and a 5-4 Fire Elemental. And there's Tolaria. Uh, a Land from Legends just gives an island, but it can also take away banding from creatures. Oh, a Ma Multi Jin! Oh, and this is an important one. This is a deal breaker because Ma Multi Jin has six defense, so it has the capability to kind of crack all my elemental creatures. Attacking here with Fire Elemental and with the Earth Elemental. And let's see what's going to happen here. I can now deal nine damage. If he takes it, he's going to three. Oh, I thought maybe a lightning bolt, but there's no lightning bolt yet. But things are looking really well for me in this second game. If I can win this one, it means we'll get a third game. And I think that um, that what I said earlier, that I'm really in the advantage here. Oh, there is a desert twister that could at least take care of one of my creatures. Taking care of the fire elemental. And untapping here with the Earth Elemental. Personally, I really like the fact that the Earth Elemental has uh, five defense. It's so hard to kill. Look at that. This is nice. A giant growth. That means I'm losing my Earth Elemental. And actually, Roman is doing a great job getting back into the game here. But I'm playing a Wheel of Fortune. And remember, he's only on two life because he took that extra damage from the City of Brass. So if I can find... And there it is. If I can find a Lightning Bolt... And I'm, I'm finding my Lightning Bolt. Having four in the deck, playing that wheel to find that Bolt. That means I'm able to win this one. That means it's a 1-1 one, one here. And we're going to game number three. Game number three. This is the decider. It is. This will decide who will win this matchup. 
Will it be my patron Roman from Germany or will I be able to win with my elemental deck? Roman is on the play. He's playing an aggressive deck. Look at that tropical island into Alana Elf. Bad news for me here already so early in the game. Playing a basic mountain. Interesting. Do I have something then? And there's a forest and an unstable. And look at it. It looks like I want to do something in response. Playing a lightning bolt here. Taking care of of that unstable as well so that's a really nice two for one but immediate immediately there's a new lanawer on the table another forest thinking about attacking changing his mind and we see a regrowth again and an unstable so that means there's a four oh red elemental blast and i mean the red elemental blasts have proven to be so important coming in from the sideboard incredibly incredibly strong against roman's uh, deck really really a great protection for me it's such a difference if you take one damage or four damage attacking now and there's his life total thank you roman uh he's on 20 still of course no damage yet and it looks like i'm a little bit in trouble because there's no elemental and that surprises me because i'm playing with like 16 of them and well not 16 is it 12 well at least i'm playing with a lot of them and there we see a soul ring from roman but he cannot find a bigger creature which is which is good news for me and upon end step i shattered the soul ring and playing five now hard casting an elemental probably no deciding not to maybe i want to keep a counter spell open Ooh, look at that oh wow he's trying to counter my fire elemental and again i have a red elemental blast saving me from that counter spell and that is such a big difference that is so important you know if if this creature would have been countered i would have been in trouble and there's a nice side blast on the fire element of course having four toughness and attack as well that means i'm going to 16 and roman taking two damage from his own side blast and i'm actually untapping my mana vault don't want to take any more damage than necessary and I wonder if I can find some more big beefy creatures. There is a Simbat. Okay, that's an interesting um, inclusion into this deck. That's pretty cool. There's an Air Elemental here. And he's untapping, drawing for turn. And he's going to use his Simbat. Ay, 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 ay. Losing a Control Magic. And that would have been so powerful in this in this current uh, situation here because he could have taken over my air elemental look at it now it looks like i'm a little bit taking over the game here playing an air an earth elemental after that air elemental already hit the board to turn before and there's a script sprites and now the, the small little creatures of roman seem even so smaller because i'm attacking with my elemental army i control the elements of earth i control the elements of air and i'm coming at roman right now he has to well he doesn't have to but he's jump blocking and playing a Tolaria, attacking, putting me in 14. What he needs now at least is one of those Surrender Befreeds or a Giant Grove. Of course, a Control Magic would be fantastic right now. He's on 10. He needs to do something here. Just pass his turn, attacking again. This is a damage coming in, deciding to block the Earth Elemental, meaning that he's going to 6. And I'm playing another elemental. I mean, this must be game. And or can can Roman do something? Maybe play out a lot of smaller creatures just to chump block for one more turn. And he's playing an if biff of freed. And if he could have had some more time, the if biff would have been fantastic because. The If Biff Afreed has a built-in hurricane mechanic, so you can pay one green and then deal one damage to every player and every creature with flying. So he could have played it for four. At least he's got a giant growth able to kill one of my elementals, but that's not going to save him. So that means I've won this one, and I just feel very fortunate with all those red elemental blasts. I mean, that was really the MVP of those games uh, two and three, and... Yeah, you have to be a little lucky. If I think back of game one, how quickly you started with that unstable, I couldn't answer the unstable. And then you have a completely different game where the uh, blue-green deck definitely dominated uh, the field. So this is it for today. Uh, thank you, Roman, my patron, for coming to the channel. 
Um, if you want to support the channel, you can do so by watching the movie, what you're doing right now, liking, subscribing, leaving a comment, that always helps. Click on the bell, the notification bell, because then you'll get updates whenever I update. And of course, we have a Patreon page. So you can check on, check out our Patreon page. There's a link appearing right now. Talking about Patreon, let's check out my patrons. Let's go to the end scroll. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Ik het dus, ik het dus, somba kazee.